morning, Mama. You're welcome to Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry. Please introduce yourself and the beautiful lady beside you. Good morning, Emmanuel. My name is Fitina Mafambani, and the lady beside me is my firstborn daughter. Tell us what God has done for you and your daughter. Yeah, to glorify what God has done to us and to shame the devil. My testimony goes like this. Um, sometime last year, August, uh, my elder sister called me through video call to see us and the kids. And she asked me if I'm sick, me and my daughter, if you are sick. And I said, we are not sick. The reason why we are losing weight is because she's writing the prelims exams. She's preparing for the final exams in grade 12. So we don't sleep well and we don't eat well. She, she was studying until late at night. So I used to sit with her, we studied together. And she asked me, wow, it's final year, what you will do when she's done with school? I said, wow. She wanted to be a lawyer, but because she's very, very quiet, we don't think that she can do it. My sister said, okay, try to find out what she wants. And I say, no, she knows what she wants. She wants to be flight attendant, um, air hostess. She said, that's good. Uh, try to look for a school, for a college. Then let me know. I will pay for it. I said, okay, but I didn't take it to heart. I thought she was joking. Then I told my daughter, did you hear what your mother said? They don't call my sister auntie, they call it mother. Did you hear what your mother said? She said, yes, I heard. I'll look for it. When she was done with prelims, she went to Google it and find the college there in Benoni, where we stay. Not meet Benoni. We called, we, we sent emails to find out about the, the fees. They told us the fees and went there to visit, to see where she would go. Then when she was done with the final exams, she told me, Mom, I think it's time to call my other mother to tell her about the fees and that you find the college and the fees. I said, I'm afraid. She would think, maybe she was joking, it wasn't serious. She said, no, try it. My husband also said, try to call her, send a message first, then you will call. I said, no. Today, let me pray first. Then tomorrow, to find courage, I will call. So I prayed that night, next day in the morning. I sent an SMS. She was in Portugal, not in Mozambique. Then I called her. She said, yes, you can call. I'm free. Then I called her. But I was shaking to tell her everything, to explain to her everything. I was afraid. Then I tried to beat around the bush. She said, what's wrong? I know you want to tell me something. What is it? Then I told her about this, the college and the fees. For my surprise, she said, it, it's a huge amount. She said, no problem. When, I will send, when can I send the money? It's cash or we pay installments. I can pay cash, cash right now. I said, no, we must pay installments from December to April. Because their classes, they, start on, they were starting on the 3rd of April. It was only two months. She said, no problem. Let me know the dates and everything. And remind me every month because I'm not around in Mozambique. I'm far away. So I have a lot to do. So you have to remind me. And also I had to tell my daughter to remind me because I forget a lot. So first installment was paid December. For the second installment, I was afraid again. <laughs> My daughter said, no, you must tell your sister. I told her. So we keep on paying, paying. This is, my part of my, this is the part of my testimony that I didn't know that I did, I did have a divine helper out there. So God used my own sister, my, my elder sister, to pay for my child's school fees. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Children of God, you can see that when once you're in the presence of God, God intervenes in every of your situation. You remember today's prayer point, let my divine helper locate me. And to the glory of God, our mama here is testifying to the glory of God. 
how God have used her sister to locate her and allayed, paid the school fees for her daughter. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus. Let, let us hear from our daughter. My sister, how are you? I'm once again, introduce yourself and tell us your testimonies. Good morning, people of God. My name is Shalima Fambane. I'm from Benoni, age 19 years. So when I started attending Kevin Career Academy on the 3rd of April, um, we went to school and the first week we got to know team, we got to know people, classmates, and we did team building. That's when the second week then we started real business, which was studying and etc. So I was told that um, we would do tests every day and the pass mark was 75%. I used to do tests and exams every day in class. So when I did my test, I used to get very high marks, 90% and above. Then when they told, they told us that um, we have final theory exams, which was going to be written in the CAA building, where other future flight attendants and pilots who write their own exams. So the day before the final exam, I was at home studying in the kitchen. I remember that I even slept at 2 a.m. together with my mom. My mom was up with me, so I studied. And before I went to bed, I prayed. I asked God to guide me through my exams on the next day. The next day, I woke up. I knelt down. I asked Lord to, give me, to guide me through my exams again. So I went to school. I kneeled down. I was the first person to get to school, as always, every day and last to go. So when I got to school, there was no one yet. I was the first one. The class was silent. I knelt down and I prayed again, asked God to guide me. So that the coordinator of the school uh, called me and told me that the transport is here. And all the other classmates were inside. So when the transport arrived, we all got in and we were heading to the CAA building. The exams, we didn't used to write in school, but uh, the CAA building. So the transport arrived, uh, I was in my classmates, and as, as soon as the transport used to get close to the CAA building, my heart used to shake, used to beat a lot, and I used to shake a lot. But I had my AirPods with me, I used to plug them in my ears and listen to gospel songs and also pray in my heart. So as soon as we landed the CAA building, I even texted one of the evangelists here in church. I told her that I'm going to write my final CAA exam, which is the theory part. They told me to take out my shoe before entering the exam. That's what Prophet will always say is for other students when we write exams, to take out the shoe and pray, touch the ground and say the name Jesus Christ three times. So I went in the CAA building, I signed off, they gave me my seat number, I took out my shoes and I entered. When I entered that room, it felt like, it felt like something told me to go grab that chair and sit. So I went ahead and sit. Uh, I was writing my exams on the laptop, the CAA laptop. So I grabbed the chair, I put in my login information, and there was a start button, the exam button. So before I pressed the exam button, I prayed first. I prayed. I prayed three times. So I prayed, and as soon as I started, the, I pressed the start button. So when I started the, when I pressed the start button, I saw all my exam questions. I told myself, nah, this is easy, I can do it, and I believe in God, I have faith in God. So it was 40 questions I had to complete. I completed all my questions, and there was a finish button to finish the exams. So when I wanted to press the finish button, my hands started to shake immediately. They were shaking. I told myself, you know what, let me go recheck my answers, what if they're wrong? For the second time, I wanted to press the finish button. My hands shaked worse, it became worse. The third time again, I pressed it. I first prayed before, I pressed the button and I covered my face. So when I opened, when I uncovered my face with my hands, I looked to the left and I see a red PDF. I thought that I did not make it. Remember the pass mark was 75%. I thought I did not make it. I even was planning what to tell my mom if I did not make it. When I looked to the right side, I saw a green barcode. It said, it said 90%. I successfully made Let it. Let us clap for Master Jesus. <laughs> Children of God made the clapping wonderful. Amen and amen. Indeed, our daughter here is the daughter of Zion. Daughter of Shekana, Glory of Faith Ministry. We don't come last in our exams. We go with distinctions. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus. 
Sister, I believe that you represented your father there, your father in the Lord, you represented him there very well. 90 is a distinction, am I right? Yes. Let us clap for Master Jesus. So, after my CAA exams, I passed, I went back to school, and we were practicing the practicals, the practical examinations. So then I did all my practical examinations and the pass mark was also 75. I did complete them all and I got a 100% pack in all the practicals, including firefighting, teaching, and etc. Continue to clap for Master Jesus. Amen and amen. So, so after that, I graduated on the 23rd of May and they told me that my... Uh, my CV would be out in 21 weeks, in, yes, and I received it, and my license as well. They told me, oh, here are the certificates that I received on my graduation day. Wonderful. So, after I graduated, they told me that my license would be out in two weeks' time. Okay, I went back home and I waited. I even went to Mozambique with my mom. I thought that, you know what, when I go to Mozambique, my lessons would be out by the time because it was taking way too long. When I came back from Mozambique with my mom, my license is still not out. I asked my mom, what's happening? Why is my license taking long? My flight attendant license. I kept on uh, calling the school, the coordinator of the school, and they would tell me the same thing every day. They would say, your license uh, is in a final process as the, as the CAA building has a backlog. So, uh, during this uh, three days fasting, my mom was here and I, I couldn't do it because of my menstruation, but we prayed for the license. On Thursday, I received a message from the coordinator of the school saying that my license is out, I should come fetch it or they will put delivery tomorrow. Let us clap for Master Jesus. You know, the servant of God declares 72 hours dry fasting, and as we have heard from our sister, her own testimony started on the second day, the final day of the fasting. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus. So, so it was <clears throat> Thursday I received the message that my license is out. Then on Friday, at 6 p.m. exactly, there was a car outside. My mom asked me if uh, that's not your parcel. I'm like, because she also does Avon. She thought it was hers. So my little sister went to go check and they called me. I received the parcel and it was my, my license that I got exactly on that 6, uh, 6.30 on Friday. So today, to the glory of God, you had Telling us that you qualified a hostess. Yes, true. Let us clap for Master Jesus. <laughs> and we are also telling Shakana Glory of Faith Ministry that we should buy private jets. Am I right? Yes. And we should also have pilots so that we can fly higher and higher. Yes, yes. Amen. Let us clap for Master Jesus. So there are pictures you have seen on the screen. Can you tell us more about the pictures here? That was on the 23rd of May of this year when I graduated. That's good. That's great. So you have seen how God of now, the God of Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry have perfected your heart desire to be an air hostess regardless of all the challenges, the ups and downs, how happy are you that the God of now, the God of Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry have um, assisted you to come through this journey? I'm very happy indeed. I could never believe that my dreams would come true, but by the grace of God, I achieved. Now I see myself flying high in the next years, and I'm thankful to God that, yes, I achieved my dreams. My dreams are fin finally came true. Let us clap for Master Jesus. You, you, you equally told us there are in the school, I know that there are other people in the school and you had distinction. 
Don't you have people who fail during the exams? Yes, we were we 20 classmates, so we went ahead to the CA building with them. And unfortunately, five failed. And so when you failed, you can't redo the course again. So five failed. And out of that, uh, and I was amongst the 15 that passed. Let us clap for Master Jesus. <laughs> My sister, we are so happy with you. The saints here present and viewers all over the world are happy. And there are some of our youths who are either scared of flying or who have not, never entered aircraft or who are still aspiring to get breakthrough in their career. As a young lady, what is your word of advice to your peers who are still struggling to find a hit way to achieve their heart desires? My word of advice for God of people is to believe in God, have faith in God, and never doubt the power of God that can do in your life. And also, keep praying your divine helpers are out there to help you out. Amen and amen. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Mama, we know you are a, a very proud mama of a, an A hostess. Soon she will be a pilot because we are going higher and higher. And then this is Shakana Glory of Faith Ministry, the divine presence of God. So today I know that you are beaming with smiles, joy and happiness. Your heart is full of joy. What is your word of advice to encourage parents to be a pillar behind their children in times of difficulties, in times of taking exams? What is your word of advice? Yes, I'm very proud, but first I'm proud of God of Shagaina, God of Prophet Isaga, God of Idina. So I'm very proud because when I was worried, I couldn't sleep. But I didn't know that God was behind, was walking behind the scene. So I'm very proud and people of God, keep having faith, keep praying, anoint yourself, teach your children, uh, mothers and fathers, be there with them, guide them. But first, I, me as a mother, ask God to guide me for, me to have the strength to guide my children. So I guide them through God. And I keep praying, please, people of God, keep praying that God will do it. If it is done for me, of course, we'll do it for you. Amen and amen. Let us clap for Master Jesus once again. My sister and my daughter, the saints here present and viewers all over the world, have tapped into your testimony, and we pray that God of now, the God of Shekinah Glory Faith Ministry, grant you many more testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. More testimony, more testimony, more breakthrough in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen.